Hey guys, so I wanted to record another video for you guys and I just wanted to f uh, first start off by saying Happy New Year's. Um, it's New Year's Eve right now and um, I'm going to be going out in a little while so I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys and it's my top three favorite games of 2020. Um, these might not... Actually, I think these did come out in 2020. No, one of them didn't. But I just wanted to uh, talk about like what games that I really, really liked in 2020. Um, and I just narrowed it down to three. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, um, partic particularly um, Mario Sunshine. I played it when it came out and then um, I haven't beaten it but um, I got really far in the game. I do need to pick it back up. Um, I haven't played 64 or Galaxy but um, I really do want to play it. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine is a very like nostalgic game for me. I played it a lot when I was, uh, I want to say an intermediate, yeah, I was an intermediate when this game came out, um, and I had it on the GameCube, and I, it took me a really long time to get far in that game when I was younger, because I didn't really know how to play games, but, um, yeah, I think I played maybe 20 hours of Sunshine, I think. Um, but this kind of just released back in what like September or August. I have no idea, but yeah, I do recommend this game. I really like this game um, Next one is a digital game And it is This game Hatsumiku Project Diva I have never played a rhythm game before so I didn't really know what to expect when I picked it up, but I really, really like the game. Like, it is so fun to just pick up, play a couple of songs, and um, just put it down. I, I'm not really good at it, honestly. Like, I play it on easy because uh, normal is just like too much for me right now, but I do enjoy playing it on easy. Um, I have like a few favorite songs that I like from that and I need to buy more of the DLC. That's the only thing with this game is that you need to purchase like more songs. Like the game comes with like, I don't know how many songs, maybe like 15, 20 songs I think. And then like they just release like DLC for it and you get more songs. I do own Hatsune Miku on the 3DS and the Vita. I don't have every uh, Miku game, but I have like two others. I think I have Project Mirai and I have um, F2 on the Vita. And they kind of recycle games. I'm not games. They recycle songs, so like a lot of the songs on the Switch version is in the 2DS or the 3DS and the Vita. So I don't know how people are going to like that up. Like, because if you play those other games, you're gonna have a lot of the same songs in in um, Project Diva. Is that what it's called? I'm so confused right now. It is called Mega Mix. Yeah, Project Diva Mega Mix. Um, so yeah, but I totally do recommend it. Uh, it goes on sale once in a while. So I, I got mine on sale. I would wait for it to drop down in price before purchasing it. So that's my second favorite game. Of 2020 now my last favorite is actually pokemon shield and sword sword is digital so i only have the shield box um physically 
I have played the heck out of this Pokemon game. Um, I can I think that this is honestly my my uh, my most played Pokemon game um, of all time. I think I'm not sure because I don't know how long I played Red when I was like a kid. Because I know my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Red on the Game Boy when I was like I don't know six. Um, but I, I recommend this game. However, I really recommend it with the DLC. I think that the DLC makes it a whole lot better. If you're going to play just like the actual game, you might not enjoy it. I know a lot of people didn't like they really wanted more from it. And when they got the DLC, especially the Crown Tundra, that's when it got better for them i don't think that the isle of armor is like the best part of the dlc i think that yeah the crown tundra is the best and also dynamax adventures is really good because you can shiny hunt and your if you have the shiny charm your odds are a lot better because i think i i've caught like maybe i do play po both games and i do have shiny charms in both games so I think a total, I think I might have gotten like maybe five or six shinies. Um, so yeah, I really recommend um, picking up Pokemon. If there was one game out of the three that I've just showed, uh, it would be Pokemon with the DLC. Um, so yeah, can any of you guys let me know like what are your top favorite games of 2020 because maybe i might want to try to play them too i am thinking about picking up immortals phoenix rising because i heard that it's kind of like breath of the wild and i really love breath of the wild i have played it and beaten it last year and i do uh sometimes jump on that game and just like run around but yeah uh please let me know and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye